Well, we've been working with them for a while, though only a couple weeks of mm. full practice. But impressions, good, bad, what have you seen? Um, we make shots. We've got guys who can make shots. We're, um, I think we'll be able to stretch defenses with the way they've, if they continue to shoot it the way they've been shooting it, Sean and, and Taz in particular, but JB has shot it really well. That's three guys on a perimeter, and, and, and Isaiah shot it really, really well. So be able to step a whatever he is now, 6, 10, 11, 7, 2 with his hair. Uh, you said we're out, five out maybe with Isaiah out there. Do you like how it's looking? It, 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 it's hard when you play against yourselves, you know. It's, it's hard to, to tell anything because they know what's going to happen before it happens pretty much. So it's, it's – uh, it's hard to run offense, and get you know get in Gabe's there telling everybody what's going what's going to happen, and which is would be great if it's we playing somebody else. Just Isaiah, I mean obviously he goes through the ordeal that he does last year, and I'm sure there's some mental things there for him to get over physically. Uh, are you surprised at how well he's? I mean he seems like he's kind of bounced back pretty quickly. I was really surprised this summer. Um, I thought he would be, uh, you know, real ginger with it. But I mean, he's he was he was out there running up and down, playing, running and jumping, and and he hasn't he hasn't shown any sign of, uh, you know, maybe favoring it, favoring the other leg or you know whatever he's he's been he's he's been from the beginning ready to go so is he at a level now where he can i mean a lot of people don't know a lot about him still i mean because of his injury so i mean is he at a place where he can show some things and, and you know i tell you what he's he's shot the ball so well from the perimeter i mean he's really shot the ball well um he shot a couple yesterday that didn't move the net. I mean, they just, they were from three. We got, you know, he's, he's, he's got to rebound it better and do some other things that way. But, I mean, offensively, he's he's really shot the ball well. So, I mean, even out the three, he could. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Having a five sheet of three, that's I mean, that's different. You didn't have it. Well, if you if if we we could or 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 maybe would try maybe sometime play JB at, at basically the guard of four, but he's going to be he's going to be a perimeter guy and 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 with with Isaiah being able to go out there and make shots, it's it's really going to spread people's defense if all that comes to fruition. Okay, what what runs through your mind option wise? Lance on the court. Uh, you, you seem to have an awful lot of uh, options there, and, and I'm thinking partially about Sean and, and Tess. Are they better together out there, or to have one of them on the bench? Well, you know, the the hard thing, Bob, is um, not getting having both of them on the floor and getting in, you know, foul trouble. That's 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 my biggest fear. Um, You'd kind of like to have one of them to be able to come in off the bench and and make shots for you, but I mean they both they both obviously deserve to start. I, mean, I, I honestly I think we can put five guys out there that that can they can all make shots if if we if we played Isaiah and JB up front. And I went back and looked at the last our last five or six games and JB. Ended up playing a lot of four, anyways, last year, and he's and he's a lot bigger and stronger now than he was a year ago. JB mentioned the shot chart you showed him was either close or far, not much in mid, mid range. That's the mm -hmm. push there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
but you know, John, if we can get if we can get people spread, it's it, it'll be easy. But you got to be able to you got to be able to spread them. But I think we can. I I think they're going to have to guard all those guys. You know, we had guys before they didn't have to guard, and and so they they could they could kind of leave somebody in the lane and and protect the basket. I don't know that they'll be able to do that now. We got pass it better, you know. But I mean, I think that's that's probably everybody at this time of year. We uh, we bang a lot of balls off ankles, you know. Team rebound. Uh, every guy that I asked said they were guilty of watching Derek go get it. I mean, is this a team rebounding team? It's going to have to be. Yeah, it's going to have to be. And you and get four or five from your guard. That would you take that? Sure, why not? You know, Keedy for being a little guy, he rebounds the ball pretty well for for being as little as he is. Gabe's started shooting well enough that they'll have to go I don't think they will, but I, 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 I mean, Bobby, I can't believe how much better he's gotten. And, and because... I didn't work with him at all. You know, I I didn't spend any time with him on 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 his shooting. That's all. That was all him. That's he was. He just he was in here uh, every day, pretty much all day. Is that improvement partly based in slowing down, like you worked with Derek some last year, gathering, getting? No, his mechanics were horrible. And, and he's he's really cleaned him up, but he did that. I mean, I don't nobody, none none of our guys put any time in with him, and that was that was him. I you know I looked down from my office and see him, and it's it's like I was shocked when I saw the ball go in the first time. But he's not a he's not like those other guys, and he doesn't make shots like they do. But but he is making shots now. Got one more about rebounding. If you bring extra guys to try to get the rebounds, you got to obviously put more pressure on your transition defense. There is a risk reward there when you do that and send extra guys. Because Gabe talked about putting maybe two guys on the opposite to try to go get the ball and make up for that. Walk me through that. There is a risk reward there, right? If you don't get it. Well, I mean, you have to you have to look at who's sitting on the other bench and the guy sitting on the other bench is probably saying, Hey, we got to block out. You know, we can't, we can't give them two, three, four shots, every possession. Well, that automatically holds them in. Now you're not, now you're not worried about the transition there as much because everybody's going to start from the same place. So, you know, I, I, I think the, the, the better offensive rebounding team you are, the less, you're concerned about transition. Where are you guys defensively overall as a team? We suck. We we, we don't guard very well. Um, we're getting we're you know we're we, we're putting a lot of time in trying to do a better job of guarding the ball and trying to do a better job to, of guarding without fouling. Um, we just start. We're not. We're n we don't make rotations the way we need to. You know, if if we could, if we could get to the point where we could make rotations the way like, uh, you know, we did when when it was Deshaun and those guys, um, then we'd be really good. But we're we're not there. We still have a tendency to stand and watch instead of instead of go. You know, you. If you're going to make good rotations and 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 you're really going to be a good defensive team, everything's got to it's got to be so reactive. And we're not, you know, we're we're turning our head, looking, seeing where the ball is, rather than reacting to to make the rotation that we need to make. How about rim protection and eraser? Um, man, DC's been pretty good. Uh, you know, once once we kind of got him moving a little bit, you know, he was. He needed uh, he needed infusion of. Uh, uh, 
uh, I don't think he took it as encouragement, but uh, but but I you know I I kind of half meant it that way. But no, he's he's done a great job. He's done a great job. Um, you know, Polly's Polly's not as not as big, but he he's he's bouncy. And and you know, Sinny's Sinny's getting better. He's getting better defensively. He's he still struggles offensively. Coach, with, uh, with James, is it a, a fracture or a break? And, and is there any update you'd like to? You know, Justin, I don't know what to tell you honestly. It's 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 it's, it's, not, it's neither. It, it's uh, some people, I guess. they those those two bones are kind. Of, they it, it's not they've grown together. They're they 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 were they're together. And and what happened was he stepped on somebody's foot and turned, you know, and it and it just they just broke apart. They're not they're not broken, but they're they're apart and they're and they were always they were together from the time he was born. If that makes any sense to you, and, but I I don't know what I don't know what you do to fix it. I mean we we can't glue it back together. Obviously, so um, they they said in the beginning they said five or six weeks. In five or six weeks it would heal, but I don't know what that means. Yeah, I I don't ask because I really don't want to know. Does that impact what you do with him though? Since you've got so many guys, the way he was playing before he got hurt. He was gonna play. This one out. He's he's his he's he's quicker off the floor than um, than than our other guys. So I mean the the, the plan all along was to redshirt him. So and I that's I think that's what that's what his dad wants and and that that was kind of his his mindset going in. He was. Actually, Justin was kind of prepping him for that, and um, but he's just he he shocked me. He's he's a lot better than what I saw on film. A lot better. Based on what you got with this team, do you think this is going to be a team <clears throat> that wins by outscoring people as opposed to limiting limiting them and stopping them as they've been in the past? And is that that's probably not the way you want to play. Well, I, I tell you what we got. We have to make free throws down the stretch that we didn't do a year ago. We'd had another five or six wins if we just make free throws. Think about how many free throws we missed that they, they came down and it started with Texas. Started with Texas. You know, we're up we're up two. All we got to do is make a couple free throws. We're up four. They can't, they can't score. They don't have enough time to score two baskets. And – Shoot, we miss both of them. They come down and make one from three, and we lose by one. Uh, the the Baylor game, we got Baylor down two, and and we miss two free throws, and they make a shot from half court. So um, we just got you know we gotta we gotta be able to stand line and make free throws, and the guys we had there were, I mean it was Sean sometimes it was it was Deuce a lot of times, you know. We just didn't. We didn't make the ones we really needed to make. With your rotation issues, is it guys not knowing where to do, or is it breaking some bad habits, like you said, looking at the ball instead of reacting? When it, it, it's all about it's all about reacting, and, and when you, when you stand there and and watch, you know, and then you're like, oh. And you know, then you got you're trying to run and catch up. You never catch up. You never catch up. You, you you don't. You know, we were so good at running through balls before because we reacted so well. <clears throat> and we haven't we haven't ran through balls like that in a in a couple of years. Well, with your lineup, do you have to have either Curry or Kedrian? or one of the two freshmen on the floor at all times? Do you have to have a ball handler point guard, or is your supporting cast with the guards good enough that you don't have to have a point guard necessarily? Kedrian's played well. Um, 
he's 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 shot the ball better than what he shot it a year ago, and he's his his ball security is a lot better. Um, Kobe, Kobe's ball security might be the best of all of them. And, you know, he's a he's a freshman, but when you play at Canton McKinley, you play pretty good competition. So he's probably a little more prepared for what was coming than the the other freshmen. <clears throat> they they play a great schedule there. And Malik, what have you seen out of him? Well, he he just had his molars pulled, so uh, not much. Uh, I, he he was, you know, he and Keterin were going at it pretty good early, and then and then he had the uh, the problem with the molars, and so I don't know how much how much longer that is. Used to make me mad, you know, when I didn't practice, but. I mean, we got 15 guys now. I don't know what to do with them anyway. So, sitting here right now, would you safe to say there's more unknowns than knowns with you for this team? Uh, yeah, probably so. Yeah. We 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 don't have we we just don't have veteran guys that played a lot of minutes coming back much. Um, I mean. Taz didn't play that many minutes till the end, till till you know towards the end. Sean didn't either, and those are those are pretty much our most experienced guys. And that's a whole lot different than having having Deuce back and and and, and having Derek back, and you know, or before having having JC and Dax back. There's 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 a lot of unknowns. I think it's probably fair to say that they they possibly could make up for bad defense because they shoot the ball. Goes back to my question about outscoring people. I, mean, I hate to count on that, but especially in this league, you know, this is a this is a really athletic league, and it's a uh, they they guard pretty good in this league. But you think some of the things, you know, Texas we, Texas has had us down 20-some, we come back and win. I think Tech had us down pretty good, we come back and win. So, State. Oklahoma State, yeah. So, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, you hate to try to have to outscore people. But you had the deuce when he was a freshman. Obviously, showed a lot of flashes early, and was a pretty good player as a freshman. Javon and Dax obviously showed a lot of good things as freshmen, and, and played a lot better than you would expect. Do you see any of that at all in Kobe and Seth, or am I just reaching here a little bit? Hmm. They're they're not as athletic as. That's the guys you mentioned, and you, J. C. and Dax, and Dax in particular was really athletic, and um, and, and they played against Tavon and Tariq and and guys every day too that were pretty good. So, so I, they you know their their competition was, uh, I think, for them a lot, a lot more, a lot harder, a lot more taxing than. Than what we've got now, we've got we've got a bunch of young or new guys now that don't haven't been through uh, the grind like like those guys had been. And, and, you know, I I like junior college guys because it, I mean they're used to eating a cheese sandwich and riding in a van, you know, and, and, and you know they're not they're not spoiled. They're not, they're not spoiled with with all the amenities that you have at a at a place like this, where those other guys kind of, you know, they they kind of expect it. The, the, the JUCO guys just man, give me give me that cheese sandwich, you know. Sitting on each other's lap in a van. <laughs> 